Hey, welcome back to YT Finance. If you want more videos about the latest stock news or the best stocks to buy, then press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Stocks have been surging this year, with the NASDAQ Composite Index experiencing an 8% escalation. This upward movement is a continuation of the trend from the previous year when enthusiasm encompassing technology stocks instigated the same index to soar over 43%. Advancements in budding sectors such as artificial intelligence have galvanized investors, as amplified demand for such services has bolstered the entire technology market. Artificial intelligence expansion will likely persist in fueling stocks across the industry in the year 2024, with scores of enterprises and associated markets benefiting from its tailwinds. As the venerable adage states, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the next best time is now. And the same holds true for investing. As a preeminent chip maker, Advanced Micro Devices, ticker symbol AMD, possesses an exhilarating outlook this year and well into the future. The corporation furnishes its hardware to companies across the technology domain, with its chips powering a wide range of devices, from cloud platforms to video game consoles, artificial intelligence models, custom-built personal computers, laptops, and more. Advanced Micro Devices' success in the industry has witnessed its revenue soar by 240% over the past five years, with its free cash flow up by 306%. Meanwhile, the company is investing heavily in artificial intelligence. Last December, Advanced Micro Devices unveiled its Artificial Intelligence Graphics Processing Unit. The chip was designed to compete directly with NVIDIA's offerings, and has already garnered the attention of some of technology's most prominent players, securing Microsoft and Meta platforms as clients. Advanced Micro Devices' earnings have yet to reflect its investment in artificial intelligence. However, its recent quarterly results suggest it is progressing in the appropriate direction. In quarter four, Advanced Micro Devices' revenue rose 10% year over year to $6 billion, exceeding analysts' expectations by approximately $60 million. The company's artificial intelligence-focused data center segment posted 38% revenue growth. This chart demonstrates that advanced micro devices' earnings could reach just over $5 per share by the year 2025. Multiplying that figure by the company's forward price-to-earnings ratio of 47 times yields a share price of $257, projecting stock growth of 51% percent by the subsequent year. As a consequence, Advanced Micro Devices is a compelling acquisition in the year 2024 as it expands its business and benefits from artificial intelligence growth. Shares of chip giant Intel, ticker symbol INTC, were battered last week after the company disclosed some information about its new reporting structure. Historically, the company allocated manufacturing costs across its various product divisions. With Intel aiming to become a leading foundry by the end of the decade, the company has separated manufacturing into its own business unit. Intel Foundry reported $18.9 billion of revenue in the year 2023, almost all of which was internal, and booked an operating loss of nearly $7 billion. Furthermore, Intel stated it does not anticipate the Foundry business to break even until the year 2027. It is no wonder, then, that Intel stock plummeted approximately 13% last week. While a $7 billion loss does not appear propitious, it is crucial to recollect that Intel is in the investment phase of its Foundry build-out. The company is pouring capital into new facilities and new process technologies, and it has not yet recognized much revenue from any of the Foundry deals it has struck with customers. Intel Foundry generated less than $1 billion of external revenue in the year 2023, and much of that came from traditional packaging services. As it stands today, Intel has secured contracts contracts worth $15 billion for its advanced packaging and wafer manufacturing services. That total encompasses a deal with Microsoft to manufacture an undisclosed chip on Intel's upcoming Intel 18A process. With Intel 18A set to be ready by the year 2025 and start ramping in volume in the year 2026, it will take time for that $15 billion to be converted into revenue. Intel will likely see some additional external foundry revenue this year from its advanced packaging wins. More in the year 2025 driven by advanced packaging and mature process technologies, and then the floodgates begin to open in the year 2026 and beyond, as Intel 3 and Intel 18A capacities ramp up. By the year 2030, Intel expects to be the world's second largest foundry measured by external revenue, with the foundry generating an adjusted operating margin of 30%. Based on the foundry market today, that means Intel is targeting at least $15 billion of foundry revenue annually 
likely by the end of the decade. On the cost side, Intel can now wring out wasteful spending from its manufacturing business that would have been difficult to find when costs were spread out among other divisions. Becoming a foundry also allows Intel to extend the useful lifetimes of its process nodes as they mature. Intel's market capitalization has been beaten down to around $160 billion. Based on the company's current results, the stock looks expensive. However, a rough post-pandemic personal computer market, market share losses in the data center, and heavy foundry investments are keeping a lid on profits. While Intel's 2030 targets are far from a guarantee, the stock will almost certainly be worth far more by the end of the decade if the company can get close. A 30% operating margin on $15 billion of external foundry revenue yields $4.5 billion in operating profit. Intel is also targeting a 40% operating margin for the product segments which would yield about $19 billion in operating profit based on the year 2023's depressed revenue. That is over $23 billion in operating profit with additional upside if Intel can grow product sales. There is plenty that could go wrong for Intel over the next six years, and long-term targets should never be trusted implicitly. But it is not hard to see how Intel stock could soar by the end of the decade as the foundry business comes into its own. But Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN, sure does not seem to be approaching maturity. Wall Street is excited about several of its massive growth initiatives, led by the proliferation of artificial intelligence throughout its Amazon Web Services platform. Shares have soared in the past year, jumping 80% compared to the 27% rally in the Standard and Poor's 500 index. Yet there is room for further growth ahead for this business, which is valued more like a retailer than a technology specialist right now. Let us look at why you might want to pick up a few shares of Amazon while they are priced at less than $200. It is hard to overstate the success that Amazon is having with its cloud services platform. Enterprises are increasingly putting more work into their systems, with demand being lifted by new artificial intelligence functionality. Amazon Web Services expanded at a 13% rate in the most recent quarter to cross $24 billion dollars in revenue. Sure, Microsoft's Azure platform is growing more quickly, but Amazon is fully participating in the booming market for enterprise services and artificial intelligence. New AI capabilities like Bedrock, Q, and Trainium have resonated with customers and are starting to be reflected in our overall results. Chief Executive Officer Andy Jassy said in an early February press release, One of the biggest knocks against Amazon stock is the company's low profit margin. It is a byproduct of the technology titan's electronic commerce business, which requires lots of capital to maintain and is situated in the competitive online retail space. Amazon's best operating margin performance in the past decade has only been about 6% of sales, in fact, compared to the 30% plus rate generated by Meta Platforms and Apple. Amazon finally seems ready to break out of that profitability slump. Operating income more than tripled in the year 2023 to $37 billion. The Amazon Web Services segment made the biggest contribution to that boost, but it was also powered by Amazon's expanding digital advertising business and several other innovations that are early on in their growth stories. The surest path toward continued positive momentum for the stock is through Amazon's profit margin moving toward 10% of sales. Amazon's collection of businesses is unique, making it hard to compare its valuation directly against peers. Yet there is a good chance that Wall Street is undervaluing the company even after the stock's recent rally. Shares exchange hands for less than four times sales, which puts the stock's price closer to Costco's premium of 1.3 times revenue than to Apple's premium of 7 times Time sales. Amazon's weak profitability means it deserves a lower valuation than pure technology peers like Microsoft and Apple, but it should close that gap as its annual earnings power expands in the coming years. Investors who would rather watch the stock for now should follow Amazon's operating income and the pace of growth in the Amazon Web Services platform for more signs of further improvements. If you do not mind taking on some risk, consider owning Amazon stock for the long term. In summary, the superior equities to acquire at present are advanced micro devices Intel and Amazon. Advanced micro devices is a compelling choice due to its leading position in chip making, heavy investments in artificial intelligence, and promising growth prospects. Intel, despite current challenges, presents long term potential as it transitions into a major foundry business. Then, lastly, Amazon, which is bolstered by the success of its Amazon Web Services platform and artificial intelligence initiatives, offers exciting growth opportunities. These companies are well positioned to capitalize on a 
emerging trends, particularly in the realm of artificial intelligence, and could potentially deliver substantial returns for investors willing to hold them over an extended period. However, as with any investment, thorough research and a prudent approach are advisable to align with one's individual financial goals and risk tolerance. Lastly, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos on the best stocks to buy and the latest stock market news updates, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.